Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I ordered Skib cells, 2 point, I think it's 2.3 volt, 2.9 amp hour cells off of uh, Alibaba and we're going to make a whole bank with it or a small bank. I have 24 cells. I, I originally ordered 30 but six of them were defects which is really disappointing but I made it work with 24 and what we're going to do is we're going to make a 14.4 volt battery bank. Um, this is LTO battery skib and uh, yeah, we're going to do everything DIY. Got the cells, got aluminum I ordered. We got to cut aluminum. We got to cut, drill the holes for these, for these uh, individual cells and it'll be fun. Let's do it. Hey guys, if you want to help the channel out, the affiliate links will be down in the description for Redoto Power, Power Queen, Slops Audio, Sirwin Vega, and Big Jeff Audio. Go down in the description and you can go look at the code uh, for 5% off on your order. Alright, back to the video. Alright, so this first cut for this aluminum, I'm going to cut right here. I marked it off, measured it, and I'm going to be using this saw and I'm doing it manually, so wish me luck. Alright guys, a little bit of an update. We have this one cut out and we have this one cut out. And we have them drilled in, they are properly drilled. I made sure to uh, do it correctly. And now what I'm gonna do is use this as a like a duplicate to mimic another one. So I'm gonna cut the aluminum right there and drill holes like this with this clamp. So let's get it. All right guys, we have one more cut that we have to do. This is gonna be for the positive and the negative um, on the battery, the main positive and negative. What I'm gonna do, Drill the four holes and then have a couple holes for um, for uh, zero gauge wire. And uh, let me do a little bit of explaining. This is going to be aluminum. I got I bought this aluminum off of Online Metals. It was very cheap. It was only like 20 bucks. So uh, I was very happy for what it came with. And it is the correct alloy uh, alloy for, uh, for what I need it for because uh, I know some car audio companies use this type of alloy aluminum alloy to uh, for car audio stuff so yeah let's get it all right guys we got all our bus bars cut let's drill holes in them and uh, hook it up to the battery so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill holes hook it up to the battery and then solder some uh, solder and some stuff so it has a really really good connection and uh, yeah it's gonna be fun let's get it all right guys got all the bus bars completed I uh, cut them out I drilled holes in all of them and now it's time to assemble the batteries so let's get it all right guys I got the uh, bus bars on the actual battery so let me explain it real quick so I have six batteries or six uh, pairs of cells in parallel I mean in series so one cell two cell three cell four cell five cell and six cell so one two three four five these are all in series and it's actually all in parallel too. So it's gonna be six series, four parallel, one, two, three, four. And this is gonna be the positive. This one's gonna be the negative. And I'm gonna mark it with a Sharpie just so I don't mess up or anything. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up a soldering station right here. Solder, put uh, some solder wire in between every single one of those holes just so I get the best connection possible and uh, yeah let's get it I can't really film this part but this is what I have so far I'm soldering the connections just so it gets the best connection possible I'm almost done for this one then I got the rest so let's get it guys all right guys so I soldered all the connections together and uh, now it's time to put lay down a piece of wood under here and connect the BMS uh, so for the BMS, it's going to be your negative, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, and uh, yeah, let's get it. Alright guys, so uh, the battery is basically finished. I got my BMS over here, drilled in, negative B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, and yeah, let's see what it sounds like in the car, and yeah, let's get back to you. Alright guys, got the battery hooked up to the car. And uh, yeah, this thing plays very well. Um, I'll be uh, demonstrating it in other videos, but right now this is just a how to build a battery pack, skid battery pack with a BMS. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if, you, if I did anything wrong, uh, if I'm not a pro at this. 
so just let me know and I'll make sure to change that. I will be upgrading once I I'll be upgrading to a final skip battery. Um, I don't know when it's going to be pretty expensive, but um, stay tuned to the channel for that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. Gee,